follow this up with some additional information because I stand by what I said. In my last video, I said, if you're in charge of cooking the turkey for Thanksgiving and you're not using a meat thermometer, then don't cook. Don't go, don't get in the kitchen. I got a few comments like this, but I stand by what I said and let me tell you why. Turkey is notoriously known for getting extremely dry and overcooked, which is one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like Thanksgiving turkey because it's always super dry, it doesn't taste good, it's because people don't know how to cook it. You will never, ever, 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 ever have a dry turkey at my house. And the reason is because I use a thermometer. Do I know how to cook without one? Yes. But the reason why I use it is because of this. When you're cooking a poultry that's that big, there's a tendency to overcook some spaces and undercook others. So I use a thermometer in the thickest part of the meat and also in like a leg or a thigh. So while monitoring the temperature, if one part is cooking a little bit too quickly, getting a little bit too hot, then I can lower the temperature, spin the turkey, do whatever I need to do to make sure that the turkey is cooking evenly. Without a thermometer and you're just cooking the turkey until it's gone, done, I guarantee you, you're serving dry ass turkey. Argue with me if you want. I stand by what I said. Don't cook the Thanksgiving turkey if you're not using the thermometer. Let somebody else do it. Side note, aren't my overalls cute? I'm DIYing today. Go check out my last video on the review of the wireless thermometers that I tried out and stay tuned for all the Thanksgiving recipes.